Today we're going to show an interview we did with Kate while we were in Albuquerque, New Mexico for the Balloon Fiesta. Um, we did a lot of interviews and tours at that Balloon Fiesta. <laughs> it <laughs> it's, was, a, it's a great way to meet people. Yeah. It was it was a pretty awesome experience all the way around. It really was. Just the social experience and of course the Balloon Fiesta itself was just incredible. With our talk with Kate, we talk about why she decided to go with uh, you know, renting out her house instead of selling it. We talk about why she made the swap to a van from a Class A. And we talk about what is it like to travel you know, on your own uh, being single. Does that feel safe? How did your family respond? Uh, just, just a really good conversation. And she's mm -hmm. a really awesome person. We've actually done a tour of her uh, Winnebago Travato van she's in now as well. And I'll put a link to that in the description. So, Which she did an amazing job she did. on yeah. it. It looks um, awesome. You need to see it. Check out her RV as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and have a conversation with Kate. So I guess just to start off, what kind of influenced you to hit the road? I mean, what started it all? Well, I've, I've always had an interest in our national parks and yeah. I had taken a trip to see a friend of mine and had gone to Yosemite mm -hmm. and had rented a convertible and was driving around and I was just like, oh my gosh, how can I do this like all the time? <laughs> just started researching and, and saving and, and thought, you know, this was something I would do. I just kind of hit the road, but I didn't know how long it would be. And, uh, but I did uh, prepare my house and I uh, rent that out on vacation rental by owner. Mm -hmm. So I didn't sell because I wasn't sure how long I was going to be gone. And uh, now it's almost two years, but, wow. but it's worked out well and it pays, uh, covers my mortgage and my bills and uh -huh. I have somebody that manages it for me and stuff like that. So, yeah. so that's been good. And, um, and then I've been able to uh, continue doing my um, consulting work on the road and I'm just remote. Uh, I worked from home three years before I hit the road so it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So laptop and a cell phone connection. I've got like, you know, hotspot from all the providers, you know, um, yeah. you know, extra insurance to make sure I'm available and, and online and no. all that kind of stuff. So. You know, some people, their house is just, it's worth more to go and just rent it. Exactly. Where they're at. Yeah. Well, we had discussed that. We yeah. didn't know whether we, we wanted to sell our house. And, right. You know, like you, we didn't know if we'd love it or yeah. if we'd want to go back to it. And exactly. We kind of looked at the numbers and some people, you know, they make more renting and we looked and thought, well, we'd do better selling, so, yeah. you know. Yep, exactly. And so you had, was the first one you bought, was that Class A with your Yep, with it Mini? was a Class A, oh. it was a, a Thor Vegas, and then I had the, the Mini Cooper Countryman that I was t uh, towing behind that. And uh, I liked uh, being able to have the, the towed, but, uh, you know, I don't know, there were trade-offs with that too, because if you go out to go explore, then you've got to come back, you know, to camp. And uh, in, the, in what I've got now, I can just keep going and just stop yeah. for the night and I don't yeah. have to backtrack or anything like that. So what's it like traveling by yourself? It's really awesome. The RV community itself is just like amazing. Uh, anytime I've uh, run into trouble, I call them my road angels, you know, whether it's in the RV community or, or just, um, you know, local folks that are just willing to stop and help out. I've had the right people there, you know, at the right time. Even our home neighborhood, we didn't really have much of a community with people in our neighborhood. But right. Our being, it doesn't matter where you're at. If, if they got something on wheels and you got something on wheels, exactly. if you can't, if something's going wrong, I mean, they're going to hop out. Right. They'll, they'll put down dinner and they'll get all the neighbors exactly. and they will hop out and they will help you. Yep. I can't um, tell you how many people have <laughs> had me over, you know, for a barbecue or taken me to eat or um, shuttled me to go do laundry or yeah. just, you know, different things. People invited me, you know, to their house and just, it's just amazing yeah. how welcoming people are. I really haven't had any scary, you know, type types of situations. I only had one when I was up in Canada and it was their 4th of July uh, equivalent. I guess it's Canada Day. And I was uh, overnighting in a, in a Walmart there. And it was just kids having fun, like doing donuts and stuff in the parking lot and racing the engines. And But then there was somebody parked next to me and they didn't really need to be parked next to me. And another RV was there and they pulled off and then I was the only one left and so mm -hmm. I was like well oh, I just didn't feel comfortable yeah. and so I just you know took the you know at the time I had window coverings and stuff took that down just started the RV and and drove down a couple more exits and and found a, a overnight gas station that uh, had more security and RV people around it. Yeah. So. I think that's smart there's definitely safety in numbers I mean when you saw yeah. that other RVer head out and 
all you had left was you and kids doing donuts. I mean, <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure... I'm one dare away from getting broken into. Here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sure it would have been fine, but, you know, but just, I think you should honor that. If you feel uh, uneasy, then, you know, then you should, uh, you know, feel comfortable doing something about that. And, yeah. uh, I, you know, I stay in touch with my family. My, um, I have one of those, you know, find whatever, find your people apps. So my mom and I are, are on that. So she always knows where I am. And I check in with them and let them know when I'm driving and where I'm supposed to make it to and stuff like that. And then um, I have uh, up over there, it's a little device called a Spot. And uh, it's a GPS thing. So if I'm hiking or even here, you know, if I'm somewhere that's out of cell range, I can still, there's like an emergency send, you know, um, medical help, you know, the police, that kind of thing. It also has a check-in function where you can add uh, email addresses and wow. like if I'm on a hike, I can be like, I'm okay, or, you know, yeah. just check in periodically. Oh, that's a neat idea. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I feel, you know, it's just a little extra insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's the family, how have they adjusted? Were they kind of worried to start with or is it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was have new they adjusted for them. Over time, or? Yeah. I mean, I, I um, didn't know anyone that RV'd and, uh, and we had maybe a couple in the, in the family, but, um, you know, so the whole, lifestyle and me being on the road all the time um, my parents are still in Charlotte and so it's uh, different for me to be away from them but uh, but they they love what I'm doing and in uh, uh, my photography and stuff like that so they're yeah. real encouraging of that but but they do worry but, uh, <laughs> I think once family members we've discussed that as far as they're kind of shocked in the beginning, especially right. if they have never heard of anything like yeah, this. But exactly. once they see what you're doing, right. it makes more sense and they're like, okay, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. And they kind of appreciate what you're right. doing more. Yeah, yeah. they came out um, with my uncle and his wife and saw me in Montana when I was at Glacier. And so oh, I, wow. I gave them the grand tour yeah. and that was super cool. And, yeah. and they got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, this and is uh, awesome. Uncle, your view is way better than our view. Yeah. <laughs> My uncle was like, keep going. <laughs> keep going. And let us know when you're staying somewhere right. cool. Yeah. Right. So what's been your biggest struggle transitioning from the Class A with your tow vehicle to your Class B van? There isn't any outside storage to the, the Class B. Um, but when I transitioned, I was amazed at how many things I hadn't used in a year, mm -hmm. you know, and it was just like, wow. So even in a motorhome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was carrying around yeah. all yeah. that stuff yeah. and it was like, man. Um, you know, I I would say maybe the smaller shower. I would like just a little, yeah. <laughs> just a little more room. Uh -huh. um, but uh, but overall, you know, I, I've liked uh, the the transition. Sometimes I wish I had a towed vehicle, but most of the time, uh, it's okay. You know, without it. So. But what's next for you, RV? I'm getting ready to start a big national parks tour. So I'm going to see not just. Uh, the 59 national parks, but there's 413 pieces of the national park system. Wow. So that's all our, you know, monuments and preserves and seashores and all that kind of stuff. So I think it'll take me a couple years, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I'm a, so I'm going to start doing that and, uh, and just can't wait to see all of them. It's going to be super cool. That's... You want to go with her? <laughs> you want to do it? You have to get a van, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could imagine. If you got a Class A and a toad and you're trying to do over 400 stops in yeah. two years. But in a van, I mean, you can yeah. probably pull it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. We would be worn out from setting up. And <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that is awesome. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome to do that. Right. And I know you started off, that was part of your passion. It's almost like you're wrapping up with, I'm right. going to really just get e into that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah I just, uh, I, I have a just a big appreciation for the parks and want to uh, lend a voice to it. They've had their centennial anniversary, but I think it's important to continue to have a focus on that. How can people learn more about you? They can go to my website. Uh, um, I have a blog. It's theroadtoadventure.com, and there are links to Facebook and Instagram and stuff from there, too. Okay. Thank you, Kate. Right. It's Thank great you to hear guys. from you, and really appreciate you giving us a chance to oh, talk yeah, to you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you.